Where's those those dodos at? There they are. Just need to push on the movement speed. Level five set. Uh, 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 give me your hide, bitch. Everybody, this is your boy Leroy. Thank you for watching the epic Leroy show. Today we're back for another survival episode of Ark Survival Evolved. This time we are on the Ragnarok map. Um, just this last week they they dropped this section right here. As you can see, they uh, kind of updated the map a little bit, expanded that a little bit out. I think it's the bottom left corner is what they added, and just a little bit in the middle here. But today we're going to show you how to survive, or at least how I like to start off my brand new world, brand new map, with a uh, brand new adventure with Ragnarok. Now I got some predefined um, presets here. We're going to go with our Leroy preset. <laughs> and for this one we're going to start in... The, no, not gonna start there. You start there, you're gonna get close to where the highlands and the uh, the blacklands meet. They got a lot of megalania and shit there. Yeah, it's not very uh, good for your health. Right here, you're gonna start off way down here. There's actually several giga spawns right there. Um, so we're gonna start up here by the northeast. Um, I find that to be the, the least dangerous. I think out of all the spawns, I think there's like maybe one giga spawn and one. Um, one, uh, shit. Allosaurus. One Allosaurus spawn. So that's, and, just, that's a good place too. There's plenty, plenty of food there. There's, uh, potatoes, there's carrots that grow naturally. There's caves there that you can hide out in. So we're gonna start right there. We're gonna go ahead and name our guy. We're gonna name him Leroy. Duh. Alright, so if y'all wanna see my, my, my build right here, this is my build like that and you know female equivalent is this That's the female equivalent we're gonna go with the male so alrighty let's dive on in I think I just fucked up didn't I? yeah I got to read to my name <laughs> oh well shit happens here we go. Now the one thing you got to worry about on this map right here is the temperature. The temperature. Oh, I also have um, also have XP turned up too as well. So we're gonna, we're gonna go with health. Go to campfire. And we're gonna go with hatchet because there's wood just laying on the ground. So first thing you want to do, gather some wood get past all these damn plants and shit. There we go. First bit of wood. Yeah, see how it's daytime. We're already a little chilly. Yeah, let's watch out for the Pegos. Pegos love this coastline over here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to learn our clothing. Oh, let's see. Go there, here, here. Oh, we're just, just... Now the reason why I up my XP and all that really, really high is because I really don't want to linger in the the, uh, the low levels for very long. Because it, it does get boring after a while. So let's go with the sleeping bag and storage box. Alright, so 
We're gonna go ahead and get our clothes going here. If if you if you want to play on single player, you can alter your um, your stats as far as how much you can gather and a whole bunch of other things. So I do I do um, recommend you do that. Okay, we got one more. Let's go into let's go into wait. I do recommend that you do that. You you uh, increase it because when you're on single player, you don't have a tribe to go with. On you know multiplayer, you have a tribe, so you all can help help gather things. And whatnot. Do this right here. Um, do, 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 do. We're gonna go ahead and just leave it at that. We're gonna save our points. So we'll go ahead and add this to our to our bote there. Can we make uh, the fire yet? No, because we need the flint, don't we? We need flint thatch. Yep. All right. Uh, we need thatch as well. Let's see. Run over here. I think we can still punch these. Get that. Yeah, there we go. We got thatch. Alright, so. We'll go ahead and craft this guy up. Might as well craft this one up too. We may need it. Okay. Drop that down there. Very grab us. Because you want to get a fire as soon as possible. Trust me. When it gets nighttime, you're going to be freezing your ass off. And let's see, what do I need more of? Need more thatch, okay. You're gonna need at least three three fires to keep you alive. Like I said, don't worry too much about the food. I will show you where you can get the food at. Um, do, 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 do. Really don't worry about the turbidity. Because we're about to, I'm just gonna show you, we're about to craft up some spears. Oh, well, we don't need that many. I say three spears to start with would be good. Right, what do we need for this? We need more thatch. So let's go right here. We got a thatch right here, already made up in the form of these little logs here. So in the back. Yeah, because right now you need to be doing some serious, some serious crafting right now. Because we are in the northeast, that is not a recommended starter zone. Your first danger, like I said, is going to be the cold. So. It is a good thing that I've upped my uh, my XP because if I didn't, I'd be screwed right now. This allows us to get started a lot earlier and get a lot deeper into things. So let's see, put this down here. I'm going to put this over here. Put the spear down. Let's go get us some some meat and some hide. Where's those those dodos at? There they are. We need to put it in the movement speed. Level five check. Mm. 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 Give me your hide, bitch. Let's go ahead and take it. Right. I heard you. Where were you at? I gotta watch out too, cause there's a peg over here. Okay, a little trick with the pegos. What I like to do is take the narcotics, put them in the, the O. You can put your stems or your narcotics, whichever. Because they're going to run up and they're going to steal you. They're going to steal from, from your, your zero slot. First. So always keep your, your junk in the zero slot. Alright, now let's see. We are encumbered, so. Uh, can we do leather yet? No. We just leveled up, so maybe so. Alright, I think we do leather now. Let's see, yeah, cool. Alright, we're gonna do that. Trike, I think the Equus, cause, cause the first dino we want to go for, the first dino is the horse. That is what we want to go for right off the bat. And here we go. Yeah, we got plenty of everything. So we're gonna make one of those, 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 and those. We need more stone for the fire. So while I'm crafting that, oh, I'm crafting that up. Come over here. Let's 
slowly but surely because you do walk slow whenever you're crafting. So we already got Equus everywhere. I want to show you where to get the, the carrots because the uh, the absence of the Trudon kibble, I think it's a Trudon, uh, the carrots is the next best thing. And I'm like way overcome right now. I'm still over encumbered, so I'm just going to go ahead and craft up the... You know, we'll craft two of them. Let's be on the safe side, craft this guy up. And craft this guy up. Drop him right off the bat. And I think we're good for right now. So, we don't really need the stone anymore, I don't believe so. Yeah, we're going to drop... Whoop! Wrong one. I'm going to drop the stone. There we go. So that should bring us back under. We're good. Good, 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 good. Uh, let's go ahead. Drop this, drop this, drop this. And drop that. Don't need that anymore. Don't need a lot of this meat. Um, you know what? I just had an idea. Yeah, let's meet back. I just had an idea, because we're going to need narcotics eventually. Let's go ahead and drop this. Let's see, can I put it up here? Here we go. Right there. And then we'll just transfer the meat into here. We want to leave two stacks, because when we go to... Uh, put that six over there and bring another 20 back. When we go to do our fireplaces, when it gets dark, we're going to use to that to... Uh, cook our meat. So, we need to get rid of some other stuff. Oh yeah. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. That. Don't need that. Um. Don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need that. Okay, cool. We're doing great. Alright, so we are ready to go. Now let's run. I'm going to show you where to get the carrots. And then we're going to tame or equus. So when you start off over here, this is very essential. You get the an equus. It doesn't have to be a big powerful one. It doesn't have to be a high level. Right now at this point in time, you just want the equus. It's going to be the beginning. Like mankind, it will be the beginning of your civilization. You be careful because over here is a Giga and Allosaurus spawn. Here they are. Here's the carrots. But that should be plenty of carrots. Um, the best, the best food to eat, really, is um, I mean, meat's okay too, but the potatoes. Why the potatoes? Because the potatoes replenish both your health and your water. I'm gonna show you in just a second. All right, now you see how my see down at the bottom right hand corner. My water's about halfway, and my health is my um, my health. My hunger is about gone. Watch this. Goes over here. Put in my hot bar. Now watch it. Oh, they're both going up. Take uh, put the carrots in there. Alright, cool. Alright, so let's see. Where is our first first target at? We got a trike over here, a couple of trikes. I guess I'm just gonna come over here to where the other the other uh, horses were. I'll just take a gander at one of those and try my luck. So here goes. Now you gotta be quick. You gotta be quick off the bat whenever you're training a horse. Because uh, when you get close enough to it without it running away, it's going to come out blue. Boom. You put your carrot over here in the zero slot. And when it says feed it, boom, you hit it with an E. Then it's going to pop up and says ride. You hit E again to ride it. As soon as you get on, you got to hit E again to feed it again. All right. There we go. Let's see. Oh, shit. Okay. For some reason the computer didn't pick it up. Alright, so got him running. 
He was really, really low. Now, I do, I do have this on default difficulty, so they're not going to have like 140 level equuses out here. So let's see. Where's the other ones at? I know there's some more around here somewhere. There's a tower over there. You can use that as your starter base. There's also a cave over here. I'll show you in a minute. You can use that as your starter base. Another good thing, too, is they have land, uh, not land, but they have uh, sheep over here. So it's a it's a quick access to wool and mutton. Where the hell did all the horses go? I know I saw a bunch of them over here just a second ago. All right, well, let's go see this guy over here, Diagroed. <sighs> Where the hell he went to? We should have Diagroed by now. And then we'll try it again. Level 5. I'm tired. Okay, where'd you go? Where'd you go? There he is, right there. See, this someone try to sneak. Now, I'm not sure you can bowl of these things. Be careful. <laughs> One second. Gonna up my speed. My movement speed. There we go. Hopefully this track will slow it down a little bit. Yeah, movement speed didn't, didn't really help out any. Where are you going? All right. Ooh. Boo -hoo! Yeah. So you carry it just level level five, right off the bat. So let's call you silver. Hi, oh, silver away! All right, so step on him. What do you tame out as? Level seven. Okay, we we'll go with that. So now we can take all our heavy stuff and move it over there. All the stuff we want to preserve as well, because animals do uh, do have a tendency to want to up his his uh, his health. All right, I'm going to show you this this cave over here. It's an awesome starter base location. Awesome, awesome starter base location. You gotta be careful because I've actually had aloe spawn here, and I've actually had a giga spawn in this exact location before. So that's gotta be careful. This is a good, uh, now a Giga can't fit in here, but Aloes can, so you gotta be careful with that as well. But this has water, it has access to, to metal, so, uh, this would be a good spot to get everything started. Mm 
Well, all right, guys. We're gonna go ahead and cut it short right here. Next episode, we're gonna build up our base and start getting our crafting situation under control. Start getting it uh, organized. Oh, let me show you this real quick while I'm here. That first place was a good spot to uh, find early carrots and uh, potatoes. But there's also two farms as well. Also, there's it's a great spot to get uh, pteranodons as well. Which we will be getting pteranodons here in the future. Because right over there, right over there is the wyvern trench. We're going to go ahead and get us some, uh, some wyverns as well. Yeah, so you got you got a little small farm here. And over this way, I believe. See, the this, this stuff just grows wild. See, you got you got more potatoes here. This stuff just grows wild, man. Let's see. Oh, so it's over here. See this big, huge field over here? That's got loads and loads of carrots and potatoes. But that right there is where you would have spawned in the in the uh, the east, I think, the northeast, the east, whatever. That was where we spawned at was the northeast, and then the north was way over there by the Blacklands. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Um, just went ahead and showed you to get started. Like I said, you're gonna need these these uh, fireplaces and you're gonna see the next episode when it gets really really cold at nighttime because it's almost nighttime right now and how to go ahead and get your your carrots and get your first horse the horse is essential because when you get up around 20 you can uh, I think it's 20 20 to 24 somewhere's in there you can get the saddle once you get the saddle then all of a sudden boom you got an instant mortar pestle uh, also the horse can carry a lot of weight and like I said, they're, they're fairly easy to tame. The hardest part of taming a horse for me is just sneaking up on them. <laughs> just sneaking up on them. Um, and I always like this base. I mean, you can live in the tower. That's fine. But I like this base. But I'm going to go ahead and call it. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video right here. Um, that way we can go ahead and get ready for the next episode. So thank you very much, everybody. This is your boy Leroy. And you've been watching the Epic Leroy Show. This is the uh, survival day one in Ragnarok um, single player uh, like I said it's best to kind of tweak some things that way it'll help you and help enhance your playing experience because you play on default you might as well play on a public server uh, that way you can have the benefit of the tribe if you play on single player you gotta you gotta tweak around with those stats you know the harvesting the experience things like that because if you don't it's gonna be a very long hard boring grind you can be playing for a week and still not make it to level 100 so if you found this this episode to be a little helpful, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you very much, and as always, have fun or die trying.